So while the girls are at the well, the boys trying to punch their ticket there for the next week's state tournament among the 4A hopefuls, North High and Ames. Two teams that love to play fast and a tough out for any opponent. The two meeting tonight in the Substate 2 final. Ames feeling it from outside the arc to start. Casey Mum touches nothing but net for three, gets fouled, so four point play. Ames up early. Tyreek Lakir now, and the Polar Bears answering. Great drive. And then the dish to Lino Malual and count the bunny for two here. North keeping up some pressure on defense. That would create a steal. Gator Bijek finds Lakira underneath the bucket. There's another hoop for the Bears. Tie ball game. Malual showing off the defense as well tonight. He's there for the SWAT. This one stayed close to the bitter end. Ames, though, pulls away. The little Cyclones are heading to the well. They beat North 63 to 54. The Hoover Huskies trying to pull off the upset against Waukee. This one up at Ankeny High School tonight. Join it in the third quarter. Waukee up four. They go inside to the senior. Dylan Jones, he goes strong for two. Hoover, though, keeping it tight. Kenny Quinn driving into traffic, pulls up, gets the friendly roll, lead back to just four. But back come the Warriors. Michael Vicente drives down the lane, and he uses the window for a couple. Not done there. This time Vicente driving again, fights to the rack, gets it to the fall. Lead up to nine. Huskies with one last push. Jo Hosea Treadwell, no, now pots that three ball. Then on the fast break, Adam Jackson, the acrobatic, and one. Hoover got it to a one-point game, but Waukee able to re recollect themselves and pull away down the stretch. 45-38, the Warriors will head back to Wells Fargo Arena. And Southeast Polk, the Cinderella of Substate 7 with one upset to get through. Dowling Catholic will pick this one up in the fourth. Senior Jack Keough for Dowling gets the steal. Layup on the fast break to make it 37-35 in the fourth. A few possessions later, junior Drew Daniel hits the three to give Dowling the lead back at 40-37. to and Southeast Polk would answer quickly as senior Sam Glenn sizes up his man decides to just hit the tying triple there. That'd be the last bucket though for SEP as Glenn takes it to the hole for the Rams. But sophomore Ryan Riggs for the Maroons there for the rejection. Dowling would take retake the lead with under a minute to go on a nice pass from Keow to Daniel for the easy lay. And Dowling going on to win this one 44 to 40 in advance. We're going to celebrate tonight. We're going to take a day off tomorrow and then figure out who we play. And, and we're going to enjoy this. Um, we were 0 2. And lost our first two games by I think 60 points combined. We were three and five at one point. We were five and eight at one point, and here on 13 and 10 and going to the state tournament. It's a little surreal.